in this lecture we will create logging framework using custom annotations for that we will create a spring boot project and create three annotations one to log time and another to to log request and another to log response so we will create a spring starter project with the name as logging framework i'll go to the next and i will use the web and dev tools to load things at run time and actuator to check the health and all and go with some previous version and i'll click next and click on finish so my spring starter project named as logging framework will build now and it has started so now i'll create three annotations first to log time and let's go with the package of annotation and i will create the annotation named log time this log time annotation will log my time of the method that how much time this method took second i will create log request so wherever i'll provide this log request annotation that method will be logging my request similarly goes for log response for logging response of that method so if i go with log time the first one i am going to provide the target here i need to provide at what target you need to provide this annotation so i'll go with the method so in this element type lots of things are there like class method constructor package and all so i am going with the method here because i need to annotate my methods so as you can see lots of things are there in this element type package annotation type local variable and all so for logging method i have provided element type as method second thing is the retention retention means where you want this code annotation to work in the source code only on the class or in at the runtime i want this to compute the time at runtime so i'm providing retention policy as runtime i'm just copying this here and pasting in all the three custom annotations which i have created so request response and time will be locked at runtime at my method level this is what we are going to build now i will create a controller where i will provide the two methods or you can say two rest apis where the things will be logged for that i'll annotate this employee controller with rest controller and provide a get mapping this will be a simple mapping to return any string or something so i'll return as sumit only in this get employee method marked as get mapping again in this second get mapping for logging request and response i'll provide in the path variable as id and this id will be logged as the request which is coming for that only i am providing this as a path variable i am marking it as id only and to return let's create a class which will be returned name it as employee only and in this employee i'll provide two fields first will be string name and second thing i'll provide private let it be integer and integer will be the id which will be coming from the request only i am not going with databases and i'll create setters and getters and i will go to again source and create two string for this method and also let's create a parameterized constructor go to source go to create constructor using fields and select the fields and generate so our employee class is ready i will be returning this employee class and this employee class will be logged in our log response annotation so i'll provide this response as an employee class with name as sumit and id the same id which is coming in the request and as an integer so i am passing it as integer and returning as an employee so you can understand this that i have created two methods first to log time second to log request and response now let's go to the annotations which we have created for this first two second and third three annotations i will now go and create an aspect for creating an aspects you need to provide the spring dependency of AO, aop and such so spring aop maven and take any of the uh, you can say maven repositories and copy and paste it in your pom so these are the maven dependencies now i have pasted it here but only spring aop in the some of the version may not work let me remove this version as spring boot project detects at its own only so now let's see and check create an aspect at our own end so i'll create an aspect but as i have said 
this aspect is not being detected so i need to provide two more dependencies in my project and these are the latest changes which has happened in the spring project so i will provide two more dependencies as aspect jrt and aspect jweaver so for aspect j only we need to provide along with the aop so now as you can see this is coming so my this check advice will help me log my request response and time using the custom annotations for that i provided logger here using the same method as a logger factory of slf4j and i will go with the around point cut and in this i will provide log time that is the first annotation so since i'm going with the annotation i'll provide here as annotation at the right annotation because i'm going with the around with this annotation of log time so what it says it says that wherever you are finding this log time annotation go with this advice and do the changes accordingly so i am taking proceeding join point it is nothing but uh, you can say is a kind of reflection which provides us the method name and the objects which are being created in the method so as you can see using this point cut join point pj which we have created i will just provide the signature which is the method so i'll write pj dot get signature and in method the method name at this what time so uh, for that i need to create a local start date so for that local date time i'm using and i'm naming it as start and i will just write that this method starts at this time for that only i'm providing it in the log as starts at start and also i need to provide this object also which is being passed in the method so for that only i am providing the object and i will calling the proceed method of this proceeding joint point because this method will proceed in through this aspect only so i am also providing one more local date time as end so initially in the line number 22 i have logged the start time and here i am logging the end time of this method so after this proceed method will execute and after execution this end time will be logged so after this everything i will return the object of this proxy so this was about log time i am logging start and end date of that method wherever this annotation is provided now let me provide this two more time because i am going to log request and response also for that also i need to log this custom annotation for that i am providing log request here and let me name it to check request instead of check time and same proceeding join point will be passed and this join point will help us in determining the request which is coming in the method for that i need to provide here that in this method i am going to provide the object mapper so object mapper will map the request which is coming for that only i am providing object mapper and there is nothing much fancy about this so i'll provide with request as and i'll provide in the place of end i'll just provide the object mapper dot write value as string and using this i'll just provide the request which is coming for request i'll use the proceeding join point which is passed in the method and go with the arguments which is passed so as you can see i logged the request which is coming using get ask method of proceeding join point and i will simply return the object which was being used for a proxy now our, our log request is complete now let's go with the similar kind of implementation for log response for this i am going to use this third annotation to log response and in the advice i'll pass this with around annotation of log re response and for that i need to log my response which is coming that is this only that is proceeding on point dot proceed will provide me the object of that response so i'll create an object and pass this here and log this proceeding join point and proceed method object which is being returned with this object so i'll pass this in the object mapper and this object mapper will write the value as string and return me the the response which is being passed and i will change this method to check response so our three annotations are being 
advised or you can say the advice is checking my three annotation wherever it is being provided and providing me the log accordingly so here i am doing is computation of time which it has taken so i'll write get signature dot get name and the difference in time so i'll write took total time and colon and then i will pass the difference in time of end and start so this will provide me the difference in the time so it is giving error because let's me first provide this get name to all the places where i provided get signature so get signature dot get name gives me the method name and in dot get second let me compute in the second and also for the start also so now i am not only logging the start and end but also logging the time difference in the computation of that method so this is logging my start time this is logging my end time and this is logging the time difference at how much time this method took and in this log request i am taking the request and mapping in the object mapper and the request is being locked here in the response i am taking the object and writing value as string in the object mapper so our three annotations are being aspected in three different methods now let me start the spring boot application and it has given me an error let me see the error the error it says is the initialization been failed because not able to refer this uh, okay i need to provide the package also for these three annotation because the aspect is not able to find these annotations so let me provide the name along with the package so in the three places because since all the three are lying in the same package i provided the same for all the three now let me run this spring boot application so my spring boot application says that 88 is already in use maybe in jenkins or something so let me change the port to server dot port 8085 let it be and again let me start this spring boot application and now it will start so as you can see it has started at 8085 now let's go to the controller and see how the methods or the apis are working so i will just go with local host 8085 only for this first get employee method and clear the console let's go to the browser and i will pass here local host 8085 the same port which in which our server is working so as you can see response is coming but the things are not being locked as you can see if i scroll this right side nothing is being locked if i clear this and again hit it nothing will be locked now let's provide annotation for time computation before time computation let me hold this method for certain time assuming that it it is checking for certain time for computation so i am holding this method for 5 seconds as you can see with thread dot sleep let me clear this everything and now again let me hit this so nothing will be locked except the initial dispatcher servlet and all so let me clear this now after clearing this i will provide the log time annotation just to log our time using aspect so this is my custom annotation i provided there and this customization annotation will help me log my time here through this aspect now let me clear this and wherever i'll provide this log time the time will be logged so here i am providing and now it has started and as you can see this took 5 seconds which is says method employee get employee took total 5 total time is 5 and this all two are method get employee starts at this and ends at this are being logged through my advice only so since i provided the annotation and the log says accordingly so our log is working fine using the custom annotation now let's go and see how the log request works and here i will pass id in the request and try to log the id which is being passed through log request only so whatever the things which is being passed in the request will be logged here so let me clear everything as of now and 
let me call the URL which is passed here and I will be passing the ID in the URL itself. So I will pass ID as one, two, three, let it be. And response is coming quickly. And let me see how this is logging. So it has locked in method get employee with request as one, two, three, which was being passed in the request. Since I'm logging request, so request is being locked. So log request is also working fine. As you can see in method, method name with request as one, two, three which was being passed in the request. So now let's go and see how the log response will work in the same method only because we are returning employee. So let's see how the employee will be logged. So I have annotated with log response also here and again, clear everything. And now again, call this method and reload this. Let, let me provide one, two, three, four and again call. And as you can see, log is a request is being logged here and response is being logged here also with name uh, submit and ideas one, two, three, four. So things are working as expected. So our response was providing in method this with response as employee response is coming and it is being written as spring through object mapper. So wherever you want, you can provide the annotation. There is no need to write annotation everywhere in the every method. We just need to annotate our methods with the custom annotation which we have provided. And using the aspect of the spring, we can easily log our methods using the custom annotation. So this was about using custom annotation framework. And this thing is being uh, very commonly being used in the production servers. Thank you all.